Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to another video. And I am Bear, and today we're gonna be doing the beginner's guide to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I am actually going to be uh, playing in a brand new account. Um, I have over 2,000 hours in this game. I've won multiple tournaments. I've done so many things with this stuff. Been on ESPN, all that. You can feel all my Mario Kart guidebook. Um, but we're actually gonna start with Mario Kart Deluxe in a brand new uh, account. Um, uh, made this, uh, this, <laughs> this Tom Nook named Dad. I, I, was, I was like, whatever. It should be fine either way, right? So we're gonna go ahead and start this up, and then I'm gonna show you, uh, if you just got this game, right? Like, you just got this game, you're starting up for the first time, you're gonna see all this. This is, this is what you, you can actually, I'm gonna actually kind of guide you through what you're gonna, you're gonna be doing everything else. And, uh, in chat, you're more than welcome to, uh, contribute. Um, if you're not, if you're not contributing, I will have to relieve you of your duties. Um... But, uh, so you start the game off, right? Uh, if you got this game digitally, or if you got this game, uh, physically, you don't have a manual. So, but there is a manual in the game itself, uh, that they don't let you know. So, I'm gonna be playing with Joy-Cons just so I can make this as easy as possible as, I, as anybody has Joy-Cons. Um, I play with the GameCube controller. I am one of the only people that play the GameCube controller in the world, um, that at high level. Um, most people recommend you play with a pro controller, um, but joy cons are sufficient if you just play this game. So, and when I play, uh, when I get clips, when I play back this offline, so I just do joy cons just because it's fine as it is. So, going into the game itself, we're gonna start off in this home screen here. Um, really important before you even do anything, the first thing you don't want to do: don't go online, don't try to play something. Honestly, just just go down all the way down to the bottom in our trusty info area here. We've, we've gone here before in the past uh, when we did some other videos. So first thing you want to do is go into info and then um, you'll see you'll have driving techniques, items, and battles. Um, go to the driving techniques first. This is basically your manual. It'll let you know a couple things that are really important in the game. So first off, it actually teaches you your rocket start. Your rocket start is super important to know. Most people will get this. Uh, the timing is a bit difficult to learn at first, but in general, um, I even mess it up, and I have over 3,000 hours in this game, so like it's okay to mess this up. But essentially, we're gonna read this together. Is uh, basically to get off to a rocket start, you launch from uh, the gr the grid of the high speed. Press and hold the A button or whatever your acceleration button is just after the two countdown. So it shows you a nice little video. You, it, it, in, I believe in Mario Kart Tour, you actually have a tutorial, but they don't give a tutorial. So this is what you're supposed to do. Just remember that at when the two hits, when it starts disappearing, hold A, you should get a rocket start. Now next to the thing they, they let you know is about drifting. Um, if you know anything about Mario Kart, it's all about drifting. So they, the way that they let you, let you know about it is you drift around by sharp corners without reducing speed. You hold A, then you hold the R button to turn around. As you can see, they're doing a drift here. This is what um, we call soft drifting because they're not getting a, a mini turbo out of it, uh, which will come down to our next thing. So they let you know about getting a mini turbo. So there is three different turbos in this game. There is a mini turbo, which is blue, gives you the, a, a, a pretty a pretty good speed boost when you release it. Um, there are some areas where you only need mini turbo, and there's some areas where you'll get a super turbo, which you hold a little bit longer. Um, so you continue to drift until the blue sparks return orange. So your your color scheme is blue, orange, and purple. It, and purple is your ultimate turbo. It's gonna give you the most speed. Um, you really only get this in certain turns. You don't want to always go for the ultra mini turbo, even though it is the best mini turbo that you can get. You all you you'd want to make sure that whatever course you're on, you it's actually viable with the racing lines you're doing. So, in general, make sure you you do the mini turbo and super turbo and ultra mini turbo. Um, keep that in mind. Also, keep in mind when you start this game. We'll get into the the normal like time trials and versus mode in a little bit here. Is it will automatically have a uh, Smart steering and auto acceleration on. You want to turn off smart steering if you're, if you want to do these uh, functionalities because smart steering will will not let you go beyond I believe super mini turbo. It won't let you get an ultra mini turbo. So it actually prohibits you. And it's a little antenna in the back. You want to get rid of that. Um, it, that's that's for really really really. If you just started the game and you're scared about falling off, you can keep that on. That's fine. But eventually you want to get rid of it, so you can actually do an ultra mini turbo. So the next thing I tell you about is jump boost. So the jump boost in this game, this derived from I believe like Mario Kart 7 or something. It was DS or one of those. But essentially this is a ramp. You press R, so you can actually do this two different ways. You can either press R on the ramp or you can shake your Joy-Con controller or Pro Controller. This will give you a nice speed boost um, and then after you land. Uh, some ramps are not worth it, but in general, if you have a motion, uh, trick in the Wii, sorry, I have slipped my mind. Thank you, Gecko. 
Wii, 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 Wii. Sorry. I played this game a long time. I forget which one it was. So the Wii, it, it originated the Wii. Um, but in general, you want to make sure if you have a uh, Joy-Cons or Pro Controller to shake your controller. It's a lot easier than pressing R. I have to press R with the game controller because the game controller is not, not able to, you can't just shake it. So the next thing to tell you about is spin boost. So if you're in an anti-gravity gravity zone, which you'll know by your tires going uh, basically horizontal, like you'll have, there was a blue strip and then it, your tires go horizontal and then you like go sideways, upside down, all that stuff. That's spe that is specific to Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It was their newest feature. Basically, if you hit, ram into someone, as long as they're not holding an item that will hit you, you'll get a little bit of a, a speed boost. It's not like, it's not huge, but it can make a difference if you're in an anti-gravity zone and you want to, zoom past someone which happens to you and then the next three the next thing they tell you is about spin turn honestly this is really weird i don't know why they tell you about this but essentially is when you're stopped pressing to hold the b button to steer you basically do a fish turn um i've only done this to like troll people i've never done this to an actual race where i need to do it maybe in battle mode but not in like an actual racing so i don't know why they tell you this but either way this is what they tell you <laughs> um or yeah, bagging. And then they also tell you this is see this the spin turn U turn really is for battle mode. Uh, we won't talk about battle mode in this video. Just mostly just racing because I want people to just get started. So this is just a you know, so you can do a spin turn get away from people. And then uh, this is actually a pretty key key thing they they and nice that they include it. Um, super vital for 200 CC as a note is that uh, it's called drift braking. So I actually do this in 150 CC and sometimes in some races if I'm going really fast is you is as you're holding a you want to hold B at the same time and you'll actually brake a little bit while you're drifting but you can still drift but you want to make sure you let go of B and let go of your drift and then you'll get a nice little, uh, little momentum there. So that's the driving techniques they tell you. Um, super important to know. Uh, nice nice things out here. So. Uh, before we get into like time trials or um, anything else, any like Grand Prix, I kind of want to go over just the items real quick here. Um, if if you're watching on YouTube, I will have an item of uh, th I have an item video for this, and I have an item guide that you can check, and it's in the video description as well. If you're in Twitch chat, I'm just gonna put uh, in my Mario Kart guide. You should be able to find it in there. Um, I won't go through every single item. I am only gonna notate. Um, a few things that the game does not tell you. Uh, the first thing that the game does not tell you is uh, is for a piranha plant. Um, I would, so it tells you like it attaches temporarily in front of the vehicle when when the piranha plant bites, you get momentum. So when you one thing it doesn't tell you is that you can just hold L instead of mashing L, just hold L and then it'll go by faster and your piranha plant will automatically just bite. So that's the one thing the game doesn't tell you that you should just know. Another thing the game doesn't tell you that you should know is coins. Coins are super vital in this game. Every coin you get, you get a 1% speed boost. So, math-wise, you say you're racing 150cc, 1%. If you get the maximum amount of coins you can have is 10, that is 10%. 10% of 150 is 15%. So, it is important to always get coins. Uh, you the, the max amount of coins you have, the faster you go. Doesn't tell you that, but it is important for you to understand that in this game. That's why a lot of times you're playing against other people and they're going faster than you and they have the same build, it's likely because they have 10 coins and you don't. Um, so it's it's a big difference, yeah, and Jetline's correct. The difference is definitely noticeable. So those are the two main things uh, I kind of wanted to mention before you start racing is, is, is coin is super vital in the Piranha Plant just because, honestly, it just doesn't tell you that you can just hold L. But the coins is the most important thing from here. And if you want any other detailed information on the rest of these items, again, I will link it in the, in the video, and there will probably be some kind of button over here. I don't know. I don't know how to do the things in the YouTube edit card things, but I will link the item video so you can watch that later on. So now, now you're saying, okay, I know, I, got, I read the manual, I'm good to race. No, you're not. You're not good to race. You're not good to race. Okay, don't go online. Again, again, whatever you say, do not go online and get like stomped by some person that has like thousands of hours of game. That's not what you want to do. Uh, also, Nightbot, you didn't link the the damn thing. Thank, thanks, Nightbot. <laughs> I love Nightbot it's just, it's just saying you want a guidebook. Bro, I wanted uh, the link for it. All right, we'll fix Nightbot in a second here. Um, hello, um, so I forgot something really crucial and I edited this part in. So if you see this in a weird spot in the, in the, in the beginner's guide, it's because I want to make sure you know about uh, drafting from someone. So, drafting is when you're behind someone, and, you, and you're close enough, and you get a speed boost like that. So you can do that, uh, it's pretty unsafe if someone has triple greens like that, but you can do that at any point in the, in the match. You just have to make sure that you're directly behind someone, and you're directly behind someone. Come over here, Ingwin! 
you're directly you're directly behind you're directly behind someone and you get the draft and you go and that is drafting thank you for coming to our uh beginner's guide uh and this was edited in at a weird spot but don't worry it's great happy racing uh hello um we're back again with another weird edit during this beginner's guide because i forgot something important um which is amiibos uh, so you're wondering what the hell is the amiibo button down here? You can actually earn outfits, um, if you own amiibo, and, uh, all you have to do is you get a amiibo. See, I have a Bowser amiibo here. Um, I got this in the Smash Brothers. This is all the amiibo's outfits you can get, and you take it and you put it on top of the Joy-Con. And you can see, boing, and I unlock the Bowser me. Cool, the Bowser me outfit. Oh, well, look at here. I also have, a uh, uh, a Mega Man me uh, amiibo. What do I do with it? I scan it on the Joy-Con, and I earn the outfit. Wow, that's so cool! No way, right? Whoa, this is fantastic! Oh wait, wait. I also have a Kirby me. This is a custom one, not official. Sorry, Nintendo people, if you're watching, I we I my friend did this. Um, and I'm gonna scan it on my amiibo, and we did it! Wow, we earned that! Fantastic! Anyway, anyways, um. Yeah, so these are all the Mii Amiibos you can earn. Um, you can earn everything from Mario to Splatoon. You have to have, I think specifically, the Super Smash Brothers Amiibo. Uh, and then you can earn all those outfits. But that's pretty much it. Yeah, the coolest one, honestly, in my opinion, is, uh, is Captain Falcon's Amiibo is sick. Samus uh, is sick. Pac-Man is sick. Sonic is really cool. Those are, like, the really cool ones. Um... I mean, everything else is kind of like, yeah, whatever, you know. But all right, that's it. That's all I want to do. We'll edit it in later. So what you want to do is you go into a single player. And then, obviously, you have a, you have the Grand Prix. When you're brand new to the game, you essentially, you have 50cc, 150cc, 150cc, mirror, 200cc. Um, what you, you want to, in my opinion, if you just, is this your first time ever playing Mario Kart? Ever, ever, ever? Uh, 50cc is fine for one cup. I think it, I have confidence in you, and I believe in you, that you can do 100cc. But just keep in mind, if you do 150cc, it will complete the Star Cups for everything above it. So, it's better in, like, if you're an efficient, if you want to be an efficient person and not have to race multiple times, just do the 150cc, do the Mirror, and then 200. I believe, actually, Mirror might count for everything above it. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll, we'll do, we're going to just do normal 150cc in a second here. But before that... Before we even do any of these cups and brace in these, you actually want to make sure that um, you can actually know what's going on. I also recommend... Uh, okay, thank you, Jetline, for confirming that. Yeah, Mirror does not. As I would recommend doing time trials before you do any... Uh, hey, thanks for all. Uh, if you do any uh, any uh, sort of Grand Prix racing, because time trials are actually very good for you to understand the game's mechanics, understand the tracks, um, I, whenever I played Mario Kart, and I've been playing this game for over 30 years, I've always started with Time Trials. Time Trials has been the most, uh, educational for me, and the most, uh, rewarding. Because I can be able to figure out how things are, you know? So, um, we're actually gonna do, so, I, what, what, I, what I also want to recommend is, uh, what do you need to, to start with, right? Like, you start, you have the, you have all the characters unlocked, luckily, with Mario Kart Deluxe. But you don't have all of the carts unlocked and all the uh, all the wheels and gliders. But you can make a solid build with what you have. So most important thing to remember is that for every ten coins you, uh, you I think it's for every hundred coins or whatever ten coins you collect, you'll earn a random new part. Um, if you want to grind, the only character that's not unlocked is Metal Mar is Gold Mario. But Metal Mario and Gold Mario are the same, so you don't really have to worry about that. And to to achieve Gold Mario, you have to get. Um, three stars, uh, gold on, like, all the Grand Prix and beat all the time trial things. Um, but in general, yeah, thank you, 645. Uh, but in general, before we pick a build, I want to actually go refer back to our, uh, our, our, our kind of our tier list here, which you can find in, in our, um, in the guidebook, uh, and also we're gonna have it where, uh, thank you, Gecko, for, for clarifying that. And then we're gonna also have it in the description as well. So, and, and back in this tier list here, don't worry, you don't have to play Waluigi, Roy, or DK to do well, okay? I would highly actually recommend here to pick um, one of these uh, 
B, B one. So we're gonna actually gonna go with, I think out of all of these, I'd probably recommend Ludwig and Mario, but Mario is fine. So let's just actually just pick Mario. So Mario, Mario, it would probably be a great one. Also, there are certain carts that are already unlocked that are here that we're actually gonna go back into the game itself. If I can hide this, all right, cool. So we're gonna pick Mario. Uh, really important here. Uh, you want to press start and you want to make sure uh, in Grand Prix it's going to have uh, the like smart steering and, and auto acceleration off. You want to turn those off. Now you, you start off with this that gives you these these standard carts, the standard wheels, super glider. Don't use those. Uh, what you want to use first of all and when it comes down to what I would recommend uh, based on what you have unlocked first thing, the Streetle and the standard bike are great two choices. They're the standard bike, in my opinion, is S tier. Very good, very good build. Um, it's the same as the Wiggler. People don't don't realize that. So if you're like, I want meta, just just pick a just pick the standard bike. Honestly, we're gonna play with the standard bike just because I prefer it on Mario. But yeah, the standard bike is great option to have here. Um, and the Streetle is an a, in my opinion A tier. It's faster underwater. It's great. So whatever you'd like. Yeah, and if you like the Wii uh, style of inside drifting, use the Comet. The Comet is actually considered, I consider it S tier as well. It's the same as Yoshi Bike. Um, so if you like those tight turns, use the Comet. So these are the three I would recommend. You don't have to unlock anything for them. They're straight up unlocked. Um, I believe out of, out of everything else, that's what I would do. We're gonna go with standard bike. Now going to uh, the wheels, you have these following wheels unlocked. Now out of these four, these four, you actually have the best wheels in the game, which is the roller. So just pick roller. Uh, eventually you will unlock the Azul Roller, it's blue one. Honestly, when it comes to the wheels, uh, if you go, to, if we referring back to my tier list here, um, I actually will do a separate video going over my tier list I made, but I, I put roller wheels on top here. So these are by far the best stats and it's specifically because of mini turbo acceleration and just overall handling it. It's a, it's a great wheel to have. So roller is perfect. Now when it comes to gliders, uh, you may feel like gliders don't matter so much, but there's actually some hidden stats in gliders that you can do. Um, honestly, when it comes to my gliders, you the best one that you have uh, off the bat is gonna be the parachute. Um, this is probably your best glider that you have. Um, but yeah, they all a little bit they, they all a little bit different, but honestly, when it comes down to it, I would just recommend parachute. Uh, super glider is really bad. Don't don't play super glider, it doesn't really do anything for you to mind, to be honest. But when it comes down to it, we're gonna go with the parachute. Um, we're, so just just review, we're gonna have the uh, standard bike with roller and parachute. That's what I would recommend. You can have a uh, street if you'd like, that's also good. Or you can have Comet if you were used to the Wii, Mario Kart Wii inside really tight drifting. So um, uh, let me go back to the game so you can see my game actually, but that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do this build. So again, Streetle uh, is fine to start with if you're used, if you just want kind of a cart thing. Um, and then Shannon Bike is fantastic to use as well. And then there's also Comet for, for inside drifting. So we're just gonna do standard bike here. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a, there's like a, there's like a bunch of different things, but so we're going to do, we're going to do time trials first, and then we're going to go with just Mario Kart Stadium. So when you do a time trial here, you're going to actually have it where, uh, you can royce against the, the, the ghost, the Nintendo, like employee ghost. Um, apparently this is Chris from the UK. Um, what's adorable is they like have like these like Nintendo star ghosts that you can race against. I think in general, uh, they are not racing at their best and i think they, they're doing that so that way that you can beat them so honestly the best thing to do is if you want to view their ghosts first you can do that so you can learn their shortcuts but for me for this person this video we're just going to race against the ghost and just learn this specific uh grand prix or learn this course so in my opinion always race time trials and always view the ghost of the nintendo uh ghosts and then view the best ghosts they have there because if you view the ghosts around the world you should be able to see everything there. So now you see that? I did a rocket start by holding A. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a nice little mini turbo here. Got blue. Now there's certain areas you wanna do cuts, but in general, for this point here, we're just making it pretty simple. Get an ultra mini turbo, purple. Make sure we collect coins. Remember, every 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 coin we get, we're gonna have 1% speed boost. So we wanna make sure we can get as many coins as we can. As you can see, this uh, poor Nintendo employee is uh, struggling back there. Uh, but it is fine. So we'll get that. We're gonna just do a, a shake trick. Don't worry. You don't, there's a better line to do that. But for now, we're just gonna kind of show what we can do. So we're just make sure we get everything here. This is not the best lines you can do for this level, but 
Uh, I just want to show the basics of this. So now we have a mushroom here. This is a great place to do a cut. You could do this without a mushroom, but for now we're going to do that. That way we can get the ultimate trouble boost out of that. As you can see, I'm keeping it pretty tight for the lines. And I'm also using my back camera. That's something I, uh, I forgot to mention. You press the X button, you'll see behind you. Really important to have when you're racing in a Grand Prix to see what someone else has. Another uh, easy shortcut to do here with the mushroom, you just drift into this, press the mushroom, and then let go once you get the super mini turbo. So now we we're able to save a couple things there. I'm probably gonna save the mushroom. Uh, I'm not actually gonna go here. I'm actually gonna use this here. And then we'll just keep on going. Finish this lap. This poor guy is. Oof. Yeah. I don't know. They, they they told this employee to don't race at all. Stop stop the A button, I guess, right? <laughs> So we're just gonna finish this time trial real quick. Obviously, there, there's a better uh, ghost we can see. I'm actually gonna show you after this so you can see it. Um, and, but we're gonna pretty much finish this off here. Get a super mini turbo, let go. Hope, make, make sure you keep holding the gas button. Great, we finished this one. Yeah, this on uh, yeah. He doesn't have optimal. Uh, his 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 build is really bad. Sports coupe, standard super glider, not great, not great. So, uh, do I want to upload? No, we're not gonna upload. This. So now we're gonna go with, uh, we're just gonna quit, quit real quick for this time trial. I'm just gonna show you about viewing ghosts. So I believe we should be able to view ghosts on this account. If not, um, uh, we can do that later on. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's me? Online ghost, right? Oh, do I have to like, Oh shit, okay, I don't have a linked account. Okay, but if you're linked, if you're linked, you'll be able to see ghosts from around the world and you can see what they do. So, oops. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I would recommend doing that. Uh, we'll uh, we'll show that later on, but okay. So really important thing from time trials is the best way to learn every course. I, I always recommend doing time trials for every course before you do Grand Prix, just because you get used to the course. Um, you can watch what the the Nintendo. You can actually view the ghost of, uh, of like this person and see what they do. Usually they do they do shortcuts and that are require mushrooms, but most of the time they don't do no item shortcuts. So um, real quick before I start an actual Grand Prix, we're gonna go to one of my favorite stages, which is Hyrule Circuit, and I'm gonna show you what a no item shortcut is. Uh, a lot of people will say NISC uh, when they say no item shortcut. Uh, NISC stands for no item shortcut. <laughs> so, we're gonna race against this, this ghost. Okay, we're, we're still doing Mario. This guy is using Link. There's a specific section in this course where you don't need a, uh, the mushroom. I'm just gonna show you how that is, and there's certain stages, uh, courses that, that are like that, where you just don't need it. Don't butcher it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try not to. I'm on Joy-Con, so. So, obviously, you got the nice little rocket boost there. Uh, I should've got those coins, but it's okay. Ooh, let's see, he used the mushroom ahead of me. Look at this dude, he's just moving. He's on the the bad, uh, I don't like that. That, that master cycle is actually pretty bad, but it's fine. Ooh, yeah, let's get ahead of him here. Let go. So, so also, if you ha once you've got your purple, if you're in a good line, go ahead and just, okay, here's that no item shortcut. You wanna actually drift here and hop, and then you should be able to do that. See, I need, you need a mushroom there. And then I was able to push out there. I still have all my mushrooms. But he probably used his mushroom. We're actually going to use the mushroom. Not not this point, but uh, over here. We're going to get this super mini turbo. And then hold this. And use the mushroom there. And we got the all the mini turbo. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's fine as much as we can do. But that that there are certain stages, uh, certain courses in this game that you don't need a shortcut. Some are more difficult than others. But this is probably one of my favorites. Just because it looks really nice. Um, and then... You know, you can't go wrong with Hyrule Circuit, it's just good music. So, uh, lap two again, let's try this out. Uh, not bad. We didn't lose that much momentum. Again, you want to make sure, a lot of the no item shortcuts, really important to know, is that you have to have like a super super mini turbo, and then you have to hop after. That's how that's how I'm doing that. So in case you're like, what the hell? How do you do that? Like, you have to basically drift into it, let go, and then, and then hop. Uh, some uh, people call it neutral hopping. So if you ever heard that terminology, it's just it's you just hopping so you can get get like get yourself resituated. So let's uh, finish this off. I still have a mushroom here, which I'm probably gonna use actually this cut here because on lap three, this no item shortcut can get a little wonky because of the front uh, because like the oogle oogle thingy. Yeah, this guy. 
Yeah, sometimes sometimes they can hit you, so that's why I use that there. But yeah, and that's Hyrule Sucker. Grand Spot Spat, thanks for getting it. Yeah, I, I honestly, I'm not really good at this, this specific course, but it's one of my favorites to play in. But yeah, so that's, that is a, a nice little time trial for like a note, for, to demonstrate the uh, no item shortcut. Um, there are certain courses that have that. We're actually going to go to change course. And I'm going to point out which ones. I'm not going to show you exactly where. I'm just going to recommend that you go into time trials. You go into view goats and online and you should be able to see the people do them. So the specific courses that have a no item shortcut. Uh, Mario Kart Stadium has one in the beginning. Uh, we did we did it with a mushroom, but you can do it without a mushroom with a certain uh, build. Uh, the Womp Rune has one in the beginning. It's a little tough to do. Um, and then we have, in, I believe, in this one, Mario Circuit has one as well. It's at the last turn. There's like, uh, uh, there's like tires, you can see that. Uh, in here, I believe Shy Guy Falls has one that is hard. Uh, it, you have to get, you have to get used to that. Um, when it comes down to here, Donut Plains has, a, has, has basically uh, two of them. Um, they aren't difficult to SQ, but if you go on online ghosts, you should be able to see them. Um, and then also, I, 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 technically speaking, uh, I believe, nah, not in DK Jungle. It's kind of here, weird. But aside from that, I don't think anything else here. Here there is, nope. Um, I'm trying to see the note. Yeah, there is a shortcut in Rainbow Road that's super important. Just watch time trials. Um, we'll actually play Grand Prix or something, and I can show you where that is. Uh, keep in mind any any kind of the best lines you can get you can always just go on go into a course itself there is a no on shortcut and ticket off clock but if you want to go on source and just view up online ghosts and then when you go on ghosts you should be able to view like the top x x x ones and that's and that should be fine from there but yeah um so that's that's what i would recommend when you first start the game do the time trials i know it can be boring but one thing you can do is, is at least do the time trials for the uh first four races like the first grand prix and then go into a grand prix and then um again you, if you select 150 cc it will give you the three uh stars for everything above it um but mirror and 200 cc are you have to do those standards so let's just do a grand prix real quick for 150 cc we're gonna do again this is why this is what i remember noting you see that antenna behind me uh hello you see that uh how are you doing today um I'm gonna try my best to interact chat, but also keep with the video. See that antenna behind me? That is smart steering. You want to turn that off uh, because you won't be able to do. Uh, hold on, what the heck? You want to be able to do. Um, what? Oh, it's. I'm pressing start because. Uh, all right. So you gotta select the character. I believe now. We, so when you when you select the the cart, you can press start. Um, you see it says the little antenna. You press L to take it off. There's also auto accelerate. Honestly, it's usually uh, off, but. Uh, I would not recommend smart steering unless you're paying 200 cc and you just can't control. So we're gonna go with this standard bike roller and parachute. This is the build that the game uh, th that you don't need to unlock any with. This is basically uh, with Mario itself. This is basically an S tier S tier build. Um, Streetle, this would be A. And this is if you're like inside drifting the Mario Kart Wii style, use Common. That's, these are basically great ones. But um, yes, I am doing a Mario Kart 8 tutorial just for just for the bit, and then we're gonna be racing after. But yeah, so that's so. Let's just do a Grand Prix real quick. Um, as I mentioned, I, one of my favorites is. Let's actually do one where we'll probably be okay. Mute City be a good one. I think most people would probably want to see something like. The, eh, I don't know which one. Let's do Moon Meadow. Let's do this one. We're just gonna do the Shell Cup. We're gonna go show the Shell Cup. I'm just gonna talk over a few things. We're going to do 150 cc. We're just going to do these four quick four races and then uh, I'll do like a conclusion video at the end. But um but yeah, so far I think I covered everything I would I would say is that basically to unlock parts you just have to collect coins to be a grand prix person mode. Yeah, just the, just just the normal stuff. I just want to just go through it. So again, let's go for a rocket start. You want to wait for the two to go away in the whole day. Okay, I didn't do that perfectly, but it was better than than most of these other people. Look at this peach, it's going super fast here. Alright, also one thing the game doesn't tell you, which I've been doing, is when uh, is when you touch an item, you can mash, mash L to get your item faster. So we'll demonstrate that again here. Let me use this mushroom, get the double. I'm mashing L, I was able to get the item pretty much instantly. That's something the game does not tell you. And I am telling you now, don't wait till it, don't wait till it rolls like that, just keep mashing. Also, I'm not doing the best lines, but we're just gonna, we have two defensive uh, 
item, so we're fine. Also, yeah, the pack is pretty bad. I think the game was like, oh, you're bad new to this game, we'll go easy. Now they're like, what the heck? <laughs> like, this is not even moving. Yeah, Nightbot is, uh, hold on, I need, I'll fix Nightbot in a second here. I had the link and everything. S S we want MK tips and want the actual guy. So, uh, one thing I wanted to know on this one, you see the mole has, like, a little guy here. You can actually tr oh, okay. You can actually trick off that. You just have to hop or shake your controller. We'll do it on the last turn there. I was... Okay, here's a blue shell. Um, again, I have a blue shell dodge video. Let's see if we can use the cows to our advantage here. Let's see if they can save us. Uh, we are actually so far ahead. The cows are not even gonna be a thing. Oh, this poor guy who slapped someone? Okay. Maybe we do a banana dodge. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it up. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm used to uh, a heavier character, but that's okay. Okay. See, we shake on there. You get, you can trick. That's something that you can do. Remember, you can shake or you can just press the jump button. Whatever you prefer. Okay. That's the first race. Good job, Mario. I'm so proud of you. Also, let me... While we're racing the next one, waiting for the next one, I'm just going to real quick fix this. Taking a glider is super slow. <laughs> yeah. All right, next race here. But let me let me fix this real quick. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, game start. Normal start. Again, uh, if you're if you're watching on YouTube, um, it will be it will be in the description of this of this game for for my guidebook. Anybody on on Twitch, just SMH point Mario Mar MK tips, and the thing will come up. So let me actually do that real quick. Yeah. Okay, we'll get we'll get I'll uh, fix that later. Let's get the rocket boost. Oh, I messed it up because I think the B button was held down as well, so that's fine. Oh, what the? Oh, my controller is stuck? Weird. Oh, I'm having lag. Okay, sometimes you have lag on your wireless controller. That happens. I think it's because my hands are really sweaty. So we're just gonna take our lines here. As you can see, uh, we're trying to make sure we get uh, as fast as we can. We're getting maximum coins. I have 10 coins, you see in the bottom left here. Um, the faster route is on the left here. The right side, if you wanna get an item box, you can, but for now, we're just gonna keep going. Also, uh, to hold L, hold L to drag the items for protection. Really key thing is if you're in first place, some people will use uh, the, um, the uh, the coin immediately. What you actually want to do is hold on to the coin because right now I'm in so far ahead. A boo will come and will take my coin instead of my banana. I always want to have a defensive item. Let's go see if we can do this nisk here, which is we drift into these uh, these tires. Oh, we did it okay. We did it okay. That's okay. So a nisk again. A nisk is a no item shortcut. That's what it's called. Here comes a blue shell. Um, do we have any options to dodge this? Okay, see, the boot took my coin, like as I said. Actually, oh, if we get hit, we might have instability frames. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, okay, I did that horribly. I did that horribly. I did that horribly. Oh, no. I should die now. Oh, the, the shy guy's fine. It's fine. Ooh, okay, we lost a lot of coins from that. Okay, and Shaw came out, so that's fine. But you see how I instantly mashed L and then I got my item? Something key to know. When you're small, you will go significantly slower, especially in first place. So, but once you get out, you should be able to boost up. We'll hit that shy guy just for fun. <laughs> All right, that's the uh, that's the uh, the second race. Let's go into the third race here. Also, let me go into my timer. Sorry, my my uh, Mario Kart tips timer thing is not is not looking linking correctly. Okay, cool. Sweet. All right, fix that. Okay, next race here. Uh, so I, I think the next race we have is, I believe, uh, okay, which one it is? Oh, it's Cheap Cheap Beach. Okay. This is a pretty nice course. Um, so there are secret stats that the game doesn't tell you, which is underwater. You always go faster. Most vehicles. So you always want to be in the water, or in the air if you can, but don't be in, in the air for too long. So again, we're gonna go there, we're just gonna trick. We got, he got triple bananas? First, first items? Oh my god! That's crazy! Okay. That's, that's unfair, he shouldn't get triple- oh I got- what? 
Okay, the probability of me getting triple bananas in first place is actually ridiculous. Uh, speaking of which, if you want to know the probabilities of that, uh, let's go show you probability in chat. Yes, Steedle is the best, one of the best people underwater. What's up, Victini? So again, ramp here. Remember, you can shake your controller or you can press R and you'll get a boost ramp there. Um, the fact that I have triple bananas versus kind of ridiculous. Frantic mode might, uh, Grand Prix might be frantic. Yeah, I'm not sure too, but you know what? We're just gonna vibe here. Ooh, I almost... See, this is why I hate triple bananas. You see there was a banana there and I had triple bananas and I still got hit. That's why they're low in my tier list. I thought I was okay. Oh, that was fine. It, it, it tricked me. Okay, here comes a blue shell. Also, keep in mind, as I, I know, I noticed this in the blue shell dodging video. When you have a blue shell activated, you can see it on the map. We're actually just gonna use this for missability frames. We're still waiting for the day. Oh, <laughs> eventually, one day I'll do that. So you, you see, I'm in first place here, and okay, hold on, that's fine. And I didn't use my coin just yet. The reason why I'm holding on to my coin is because if you're in first place and you have a single item coin and you go to the item box, you're guaranteed to get a defensive item, no matter what. So, I'm not gonna get another coin. I'm get, I'll get, I got a green shell. Cool, right? Fantastic. I'm still gonna hold on to the coin, because I think a boo's gonna come out again. So when you, when you get ink, you, you have two different ways to get rid of it. You can either use boost up on a ramp, uh, sorry, three ways. Ramp, mushroom, or get in the water and it'll go away. So, I mean, we just use the ramp instead. And we're doing okay here. We're, not, we're still not gonna use our coin, because we anticipate a boo to come out. Because it's how far I am. Okay, all right. Woo! Um, also, don't back. If it okay, um, I did I did something that a lot of people in competitive do, which is back items at the line. If you first start playing this game with your friends, don't do that. Um, <laughs> you're just gonna make people really mad. So uh, yeah, don't do that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and um, yeah. And Vicini made an important point. You will only get a coin in first place if you're playing online and there's item lag. Okay, uh, last course here in the Shout Cup is Toad's Turnpike and from N64. This is probably one of my uh, least favorite tracks, not because of the aesthetics, it's just the way it, the mechanics work, but with computers, it's going to be a breeze. Always oh, throw items backwards, got it. <laughs> so final race, let's see if we can get a nice uh, speed boost here. Also, we didn't, have, we didn't really have too much anti-gravity before, so I'm going to show you um, the anti-gravity source in here. By the way, this is the slowest path you can take, I just want to show you the anti-gravity section. Which again, see the blue, the blue part here. You see these blue bars? It changes my tires horizontal. Now I'm in anti gravity. That's what. That's how you know you're in anti gravity. Just want to demonstrate that. Just don't go this way when you actually play this race, unless you're bagging. But again, I don't wouldn't recommend that in this level. Okay, so I have triple mushrooms. I'm not gonna. Also, don't spam them all at once because you're not gonna get a significant boost. You want to space them out. I'm just gonna hold on to them. Uh, oh, cause, ooh, my god, I'm also having lag on my controller all of a sudden. It's okay, oh, my goodness. Don't worry. It's fine. We're good, we're good. Alright, let's see if we can hold, hold on to these, um, until we get a blue shell dodge. And you can do that on this specific course, you can do, uh, basically two different methods. Uh, one guaranteed, which is you can actually run into a, a truck and use the invincibility frames from the truck to, to dodge a blue shell, or you can use Obviously a super horn or a mushroom or whatever. You can watch the video on that later on. That, for some reason, the uh, the my Joy-Con was desyncing, but it's okay. We're still going here. Oh, we got our uh, mushrooms uh, stolen from the blue. That's fantastic. That's why having the coins good. All right, we're gonna keep going. We got four bananas here. Okay, we're fine. So uh, this this. This course is- oh, here comes a blue shell. Let's see if we can do what I talked about, which is hitting a truck and having the instability flames. Or a car. We're gonna go for the truck. Actually, we're gonna go for this car here. Uh... Right, I messed it up. Alright, the invincibility flames wasn't too much, uh, to last as long as it should. I had to hit it a little bit later, but it's okay. We, we were able to catch back up here. We lost six coins, which is bad. We don't want to lose coins. Uh, we also have someone right on my butt here. Look, let's see if we can get ahead of him. Oh god. Where do all those bananas come from? Okay, we're gonna hold on to this coin, get this item. Alright, match that, we're guaranteed a defensive item, we're good here. We're just gonna keep going. So the back camera, we're okay, let's hit that thing. Hit ourselves. <laughs> nice little slide into finish there. 
All right, and that's basically uh, most of what I wanted to cover for guide-wise for this game. Um, again, in review, uh, the most important thing is you go into the manual, you check the you check the, the driving stats. It does make sure you have coins in this game. The more the, the max amount of coins you have is ten. It's one percent speed boost for every coin you have, um, and then also. Uh, the carts that you that you start with that are really good is standard cart streetle or the comet if you like the inside drifting. Why did it show that? What the heck? Why did why did it show that as the replay? I got first and everything, and that Ingling was was wanted to show me the sauce. That's rude. Super rude. All right, we got first, so that's fine. Um, but again, yeah, that's pretty much the summation of the video. Hopefully that was help. Uh, again, if you every ten coins you collect, you'll get your unlock customization. So actually, let's go into that. I don't know, right? They show how I got wrecked. Like, okay, game. Thanks, I guess. Let's actually show you the unlocking. So every ten coins you'll get something. So every time you enter in and out, it should be fine. So let's go into single player. Let's go into Grand Prix. Let's go into 150cc. Let's go into. Let's just select Shy Guy for now. And it should pop up like a yeah. -da 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 -da. And I unlocked uh, the Tanuki cart. Not a great card. That's great. Uh, that's fantastic. But again, the best cards you already start with in the game. Uh, one of the best, better ones, which is standard bike is perfect. Streetle is great. Uh, and Comet is fantastic. It's Comet, and, and keep in mind, Comet is inside drifting in or or inward, which is very similar to Mario Kart Wii. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, that's pretty much it for the video. Hopefully that helped you out. Again, uh, I will link my my Mario Kart guide in the description that goes a little bit more detail in regards to some certain secret techniques and some more depth. So you can read that. Also, it gives you a tier list of, of all the all the racers. But in general, honestly, starting off with a medium or medium uh, a heavy character is fine. Um, I think you you do fine there. But hopefully that was helpful. Again, if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, subscribe like comment say uh hopefully this helped you out um if you have any questions uh feel free to comment and then if you have any or at me on twitter or or come to my twitch streams but okay again bye bye youtube thanks again for for sticking through and thanks chat and twitch for being nice okay bye bye okay we're, we're carrying the three one